In this video, I'm going to give a quick overview of what's called the multiplicative seasonal model. It is a simple model that allows you to reflect differences within a forecast period. So if you're forecasting for a year and you have different sales uh, by season, or you're for forecasting for a week and you have different sales by day, this allows you to reflect that while also taking a, a, a look at a, a long-term trend. Another approach uh, that we won't spend a lot of time is called the additive seasonal model. And in that case, all you do is add or subtract a, an absolute value from your forecast for the aggregated period. So uh, you say, well, this one is uh, two units higher and this season is two units lower and you just subtract it from whatever your, your moving uh, trend is. With the multiplicative seasonal model, uh, what we do is we take a proportion and multiply it. So let me show you. So let's say these are our sales last year. Summer we sold 300. Fall we sold 100. Winter and summer, oh sorry, winter and spring we sold 100 each. So in that case our average is equal to 150. So on average, every season, we sell 150. Now clearly, in fall, winter, and spring, we sell less, and in summer, we sell a lot more. So what we do is something called a seasonal index. And the seasonal index is just this number divided by the average. Now, I'm just doing it for one year. Usually what you would do is, is create an average seasonal index across several years uh, and it would work exactly the same. So in this case you would go summer is equal to 3, the index for summer 3 over 150 is equal to 2, fall is equal to 100 over 150 is equal to 0 0.678 uh, and winter and spring would be the same 0 0.678 0 0.678 when you are calculating your seasonal indices if you have four seasons they should total to four if you if they don't total to four uh, then you've uh, run into uh, an issue. So you've got two-thirds plus two-thirds plus two-thirds is two, plus two is four. That way is a quick way of checking if your math uh, is correct. So now, how do we apply the multi multiplicative seasonal model? Uh, it is uh, relatively straightforward. So let, let's say what is our forecast by season if demand is expected to double? So that means total demand. Now, in that case, you might just say, well, I should double summer, double, double fall, double winter, double spring. In this case, we're going to do it because we don't actually always get a nice round number like that. Uh, and, uh, and so we, we do uh, the math. So total demand in that circumstance is equal to 1,200. Average demand is equal to 300 and then the seasonal forecasts summer equals 300 times 2 equals 600 fall is equal to 300 the average demand times 0 0.678 is equal to 200 and then uh, winter equals 200 and spring equals 200. So the steps in the process really are quite simple. 
calculate your average demand, divide the seasonal demand actual divided by the average to get your seasonal forecast. Then when you know what your next period's average demand is expected to be, multiply each one of those averages times the seasonal factor to get the forecast for each of those seasons. Relatively straightforward, the additive one adds a fixed amount, the multiplicative amount essentially uh, adds or subtracts a percentage amount re to reflect differences in seasons. This is a, There are much more complex seasonal models, this is a very simple one uh, but provides you an introduction and some context with how to deal with seasons in a forecasting context.